All right, all right. Coming back once again. Hope everybody is doing well. As you can see, the title of this video, I can't pray for you. Get somebody else to do it. I can't pray for you today. Get somebody else to do it. Because I ain't right myself. I know a lot of people might laugh at that title. But I'm going to just have a real talk video and just catch what I'm saying in this. Some might like it. Some may hate it. Pop just left. And me and Pop been talking, I guess, about what Pop about maybe two and a half hours. Looking at different things and speaking about the word like we always do. And as Pop was talking, I said, you just gave me my next video. I can't pray for you. Get somebody else to do it. And the reason why I say that because there's so many people walking around here that don't have no sins according to them. They don't have to repent for nothing. And you oftentimes hear me speak about the Old Testament and about when you laid hands on people and you know you wasn't clean and what happened to you. And the reason I say don't pray, I can't pray for you today. Get somebody else to do it. Well, let me see if I can get some witnesses on her. How many people sometimes you don't feel like praying, but you go ahead and pray anyway? How many people walk around and say, brother, pray for me. Oh, sister, I need you to pray for me. Lay hands on me. Give me a good word. They don't ever even pray for themselves. But sometimes you don't feel like praying for yourself because you might be frustrated. See, remember, you are in the flesh. I don't know nobody walking around here that ain't dealing with something. And I say this title for a, for, for a reason, that I can't pray for you. Well, if you live in a life of sin, hmm, why are you going to ask a sinner to pray for you when they ain't even prayed for themselves? They ain't repented themselves. Now, I know somebody going to say God hears the sinners also. Yeah, because we all sin. But what am I getting at in this video? People need to be careful with this pray for me stuff all the time. I'll tell somebody in a minute, just like Pop was saying, I ain't got, I can't pray for you today. I need to pray for my I, I just got drunk. Let me let me let me get let me get for real with some of y'all in the world that's still living worldly and living your, your Christian life, your, your spiritual life the same way. I just got drunk. Oh, I can't pray for you right now. Man, I'm still trying to get back in my right mind. I just smoked a block. I'm high, man. I'm high as hell. I can't pray for you. I ain't, man, I need, I need help myself. See, you got the wrong people praying nowadays. Uh-oh. I done stepped out real hard when I said that. You got the wrong people praying and you got the wrong people in position nowadays. See, I don't walk around telling everybody to pray for me. And I'm not... I'm, I'm cautious on who, who's prophesizing and brother, let me put this hand on you and anoint you. My pop had me rolling so hard in her. Pop was talking about when you use your holy oil on people. The Bible say you use fresh oil. Man, you got people walking around here with oil that's five, six years old and it's just done got old and dirty. <laughs> and they put it on people. I seen this one man ran out of oil. He told us, told a lady, the Ursa, to go get him some Crisco oil. I'm like, he finna put, I guess he finna start putting people in the fry pan. You ran out of oil and you went and got some Crisco. People think I'm joking when I say that, but I'm telling the straight truth. I can't pray for you. See, back then, when, when you look at what those priests was doing, see, you had the boy, your standards was very high. They were set. I want to say you better thank God for grace and mercy because what a lot of folks doing in these churches right now with this prophesying, the speaking in tongues, laying hands on folk, what they doing after they was fake with it, they been dead back then. I remember one time I was in church, I had this brother saying, brother, can you pray for him? I said, I can't do it today, man. I can't do it, bro. This was a long time ago. I said, I can't do it. He was like, well, what's wrong? I said, because I hold around last night. I'm not feeling right. I'm not worried enough to even pray for nobody right now. See, I keep it real with folks. That's why I throw self in these videos. I can't pray for you all the time. And people don't think when they do this. Then you got people walking around when I, I'm prayed up. I don't see it. Like, you don't see it. Who are you? You ain't human to him if you don't see it. And that goes for bishops on down. It don't matter who you are. You see it. You might have just ate too much. <laughs> You might have just 
You did something unpleasing in the Lord's eyes that you had to repent for if you repent at all. See, I don't understand why folks think they saved overnight. Me and Pop got deep in our conversation talking about this word saved. If you notice, we talk about that a lot. Because I don't walk around talking about I'm saved and sanctified and all that stuff. I leave that for the holy and die folks. He asked me a question. He said, when did you ever read in the Bible where it says Adam was saved? I said, God, I might have to think about that. Never. He even said, when did you even see that Mary was saved? Because a lot of times you don't see nobody was saved. But you got people walking around here, I was saved in 1959, 1986. I've been saved. Oh, I've been sin free. Oh, you have. I want, I want to meet you. And, and people get mad when I say, yeah, Jesus died on the cross. He said it is finished, and everybody still said it. Because the Lord knew you weren't going to be perfect. Pray for me now. I just finished cussing the deacon out. I can't pray for you. I done went off on the whole church. See, when you are human in this flesh, people forget that. You're going to get frustrated. I don't care who you are. If you ain't never got frustrated at somebody, email me and tell me, please. Show me your face. I need a picture and everything. You're going to get frustrated. You're going to get discouraged. You're going to be ready to lay hands on folks. And I ain't talking about healing hands. I'm talking about these, these knuckles and whooping somebody. Man, the hardest thing to do is to deal with church folks. Pray for me, brother. Nah, man, I can't pray for you today. See, that's the whole thing I was talking about in my old video about the Lord's Supper. When you take that supper, in, don't take it in vain. If you ain't repentant, you ain't got no business taking the Lord's Supper. See, back then you got sick or you died. So you don't play around with God. This is why I walk around keeping it real. JT, you used to do this and do that. I sure did. Back in the day, I did some things I know I shouldn't have done. You have too. So stop acting like you ain't never done nothing wrong, people. This is why I tell people in a minute, can't pray for you. Ain't got no power. You need to, you need to, see people doing all this, turning toward man and woman, mankind, that they ain't even going to turn to God. I don't know why you're coming up to me. I can't do nothing for you. Well, you pray all the time. My man, my prayer ain't going to get no farther than that, man. I just had to repent last night. I need to repent today. So I can't pray for you today. Get you somebody else to do it. How many of y'all ever been so weak, so spiritually messed up that you couldn't pray for yourself? You couldn't even get into your prayer because you're so frustrated when your spirit has been so down. That's why I did that video when I was talking about healing, spiritual healing. When it says, by his stripes, I am healed, I was thinking about spiritual healing also. Because there are going to be some times, people, when you get angry. Well, JT, you saying Jesus got angry? Jesus? Yes, Jesus got angry. Jesus had feelings. Jesus was, y'all keep forgetting he was in the flesh also. He was angry, but he sinned not. Remember the time he flipped them tables over in the temple? What was they doing in there? Y'all know the story? Remember when he had that whip? Mm. Whooping them animals out of there? <laughs> See, it's a sad thing to walk around here and act like you ain't never done nothing wrong. It is. How you gonna reach anybody? If you look at Jesus pretty much whole entire ministry, what was he doing? He was walking with the sinners. Being invited to the sinners parties. The majority of the time, Jesus was with the sinners. Church folks, what are you doing? Other than being with the holy and die messed up, jacked up people. See, this is why people are always talking about me and talking about I wouldn't go on the corner and talk to that person. I wouldn't talk to a prostitute. I wouldn't tell them about salvation. Not, man, you ain't me. We all are different. But see, like I told Pop earlier, I said if Jesus was right right here right now, Jesus would walk right up in the crack house. Jesus would walk right up in the casino like you said, Pop. He, I like what Pop said. Jesus would walk in there and grab the dice off the table. Jesus is going to walk right up to that man with that bird in his mouth. 
Church folks can't do that. See, you can't really do what Christ did while you acting like you Christ-like. You can't even get a sinner to come in your church hardly without slamming the door in his face. But Jesus spent all of his time pretty much look like going for the sinners. Why? Because God say, I did not send my son to condemn this world, but through him the world could be saved. I don't know why folks done took that scripture and rewrote it saying Jesus came and destroyed the sinners and not to forgive them. Jesus wasn't about all this condemning and pointing fingers. The Pharisees was. People get a clue on who Jesus was and what he did and what he was all about. One word, compassion. Woo, the healing. Like I talked about the ten lepers, a leper, some might say. When he healed the Samaritan one, that man, Jews and Samaritans didn't even get along, people. Jesus didn't even have to do that, but he did. Because he was showing us with that also that it don't matter who you are, what you are, you can be saved. That Samaritan, he gave Jesus the glory while the rest of them gone on about their business. I can't pray for you today. Get somebody else to do it. See, when you keep it real, ain't too many people going to agree with you. And big shout out to my boy, Kingdom Knowledge. I love that comment you sent me on the video. Quit trying to make me a preacher. And, and the Kingdom Knowledge leaves so many beautiful comments now. And I mean, it just seemed like I've been knowing them for a long time now. And big shout out to you too, Mitty Man and PP Drawing. All of y'all are so encouraging, man. And I love this, how we all just be on one accord, man. Even if we see things different, who cares? It ain't going to be no fallout because we are all different. I like what Mitty Man said. We all saying the same thing. So I'm wrong. We have to be able to, you know, talk about differences between each other. We was all brought up different. But we all, when it comes to the word of God, are right here on one accord. Keep on keeping it real, people. The other one's going to keep on keeping it fake. And you you, you, will see, you can ask me anything, and I'll tell you the truth about this praying. And Like I've been talking about praying. I was talking about fasting. I was talking about this laying hands, this fake speaking in tongues. Y'all know where I'm at when I stand on this stuff. And I, I stand on it with scripture. I can't pray for you at all times. My phone rings 24-7 like it's ringing now back there. Every phone call I get pretty much is a bad phone call. And I have to tell folks, pray for yourself. Yeah, we're suppo supposed to pray for others. But you need to learn how to pray for yourself. And remember who you got to pray to. It's God. I'm not God. Ain't nothing I can do for you but pray for you. And I get so sick of people calling me in the middle of the night like I'm finna go make a change. Good God Almighty. Let me say something way off the wall in this video. The phone ringing at 3 in the morning. Oh, I need you to pray my sister is in the hospital. I can't pray for you. I just finished looking at porn. I got to get my mind right. Uh-oh. Let me hit some of y'all in the head. I can't pray for you, brother. Get somebody else to do it. I just hold around. I've been sleeping with such and such. I ain't washed my hands. I ain't clean. See, this is this whole thing about people in these churches that's prophesying and laying hands on you. If they ain't clean, they need to sit down somewhere. That's why you'll never see me confess my sins to a man behind the curtain, priests. We done took this Bible and unbound it up and rewrote it. And now we got a new word. And you know what the new Bible is? Ain't nothing wrong with what you're doing. That's what it looked like. We done took out all the things that apply to us and made up more things. Be blessed.